All right. How many of you want to write 200 names on sheets of paper, crumble them up, put them in a hat, and randomly pick one? That's quite a bit of names. What if in instead you had a spreadsheet where you already had the pool of people here? In this case, they're all listed here in column F. You've got just about 200 of them. And your spreadsheet can randomly pick a drawing. Not only is this more efficient, faster, it's cooler, frankly. And the thing is, you can learn a lot of different concepts that I guarantee you're going to use in other spreadsheet applications. So let's take a look at how this works first. You're ready to draw a winner. You select yes. And at that point, a random person, random winner, is drawn. You can do this multiple times, and you will get another random drawing. Now, the cool thing is, you're going to learn this great concept, this great function, which I think I use most frequently out of probably all the other functions that are out there. And that is called the VLOOKUP function. So feel free, please take a look at our video on VLOOKUP, because if you can master, if you can truly understand how that works, it will be very powerful and you will use it in multiple, multiple applications. Now this VLOOKUP, is, as you can see, is referencing cell B9, which looks empty. It's not. We did this for visual purposes. The font color simply matches the background. Cell B9, we'll take a look at what that is, is in fact a RAND between function. So again, take a look, understand what the RAND between function is, because what that's actually the key element for this application. RAND between will return a random number between 1, including 1, plus the maximum number here in column E, which in this case was 198. There you go, 198. And so in this case, what you have here in cell B9 is a random number that is between 1 and 198. And this VLOOKUP function will reference that random number. Okay, so before we go into detail on the VLOOKUP, which we will in our, in our tutorial, I want to show you how this concept of a random prize drawing can also be done using another function, which is the index function. And an index function, I actually think, is even more powerful than the VLOOKUP function. And so as you can see here, in cell C6, we use the index function, which generates the same outcome. In other words, it will do, it will perform the same action as a VLOOKUP. Now a related function is the HLOOKUP, and so I, these three functions, I would highly recommend that you master these because for sure they will reappear in your life. Okay, my friends, so go forth, have fun creating this random prize drawing, and we will see you next time.